games, PC, Xbox, Switch, PlayStation. Um, I know a lot of people think, oh, I have to have this like really expensive PC set up to stream. Absolutely not. Um, I know people who stream off their Xbox and they do well. They do really well just from their Xbox. So don't definitely doubt yourself. Um, you can stream on whatever. Um, a lot of people stream them just chatting. So I know some people who do mental health. Last um, panel I had, I had a guy and he did like mental health streams and he was super cool in community chats where like they just all hang out and kind of just talk about their day. Um, you can stream your music. So, you know, if you sing or if you play instruments, you can definitely do that as well. Super cool. And then digital art, physical art, makeup. You know, I've seen people do body painting, um, doing Legos and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's next. Hobbies crafting. So you can make cosplay. Um, I've seen people do cooking. Legos is actually a popular thing, too. Um, and then unboxing Pokemon cards, loot boxes, and... Most recently, IRL, like going on vacation and stuff like that. I've seen people stream on Twitch at conventions, which is also super cool, and outdoor activities. I've seen people kayaking, which to me would be a little bit scary, but you can definitely do that. And then we're going to go over into some basic Twitch terms and vocabulary. Um, I know sometimes the lingo can get confusing, and that way, you know, for anyone who's new, they know what we're talking about. So following, following is a free way to support and stay up to date with a streamer. You may unlock follow only emotes for that channel. So when you follow somebody, it'll tell you when they're going live. Um, it just helps you keep up to date with them and it also supports that person and it's free. Then we go into subs, AKA subscriptions. So it's a paid monthly subscription. It unlocks sub emotes, enables ad reviewing and supports the streamer. So once you reach affiliate, you can start getting subscriptions. And once you reach affiliate, you sadly do have to have ads. I wish you didn't have to have ads because I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. Ad revenue, Twitch is making all that money. You, you will barely see anything from ad revenue. So I, I don't like ads, but you sadly have to have them. And then we have bits and cheers, and that'll be a monetary twi tip on the Twitch platform. So it used to strictly be like PayPal donations, but... Um, Twitch kind of implemented their own program and they have donations, a tip outside of Twitch, AKA PayPal, that's extremely popular. And then emotes. So emotes are chat emoticons. Think of like cute little stickers. Like if you text somebody, you know how like you can use like little hearts, smiley faces, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and then you can make them to you. So for me, I personally have a lot of Halo ones. Um, I have my cat. <laughs> because my cat's the cutest, um, just stuff that really just shows off my personality and who I am as a person. And then raids. So raids are ending your stream and sending those watching your stream to another stream. So if I have 20 people, you know, watching me play Halo and I end Halo and I'm like, oh, you know what? My friend Samantha is streaming. I can send everybody watching my stream to go watch my friend Samantha. And hopefully they'll think Samantha's cool. And you know what? I know Samantha will really appreciate it. So those are some basic terms. So affiliate requirements. You have to reach 50 followers. You have to stream for at least eight hours on seven different days and have an average of three viewers. And to qualify, you must all meet four requirements over a 30 day period. I'm under 18, can I still sign up? Yes, your parent or guardian will need to agree to the terms of agreement. So make sure you have them with you when you go through the application. Um, also a little side tip. I know when you start out, it can be really hard to average through viewers. I know that is a very common struggle. Shorter streams are the key because if you're streaming nine hours in a row with only one viewer, but then, you know, if you stream for two hours with two viewers, it really bumps down the average. So I recommend at first, just get comfortable with yourself with streaming. Um, stream shorter and of course if something happens say somebody raids you and you do get more viewers keep it going enjoy yourself but also don't push yourself as well and follow for follow will only stunt your growth and it's extremely frowned upon um so following for following will basically you know it's really popular in like reddit groups and facebook groups to where you just basically follow each other but you'll never interact with each other and you really want to follow 
and interact and network with people who you're actually talking to, um, not just a random username, because then it kind of looks suspicious when so-and-so has 800 followers, but only, you know, two average views. You're kind of like, oh, you know, that's iffy, but it will come. Um, affiliate is definitely a task. Um, if I could be honest, the only reason why I got affiliate in seven days is because I have been cosplaying for eight years now. And um, I, I network a lot. I love meeting new people. I love talking to new people. So um, I thankfully had a great community from cosplay. So that community definitely came over and uh, to my Twitch streams to support me. So affiliate perks. So you now get paid. You unlock subs, bits, and ad revenue. You get follower emotes and subscription emotes and custom chat badges. And when you do reach affiliate, you will have to fill out legal paperwork, which is, you know, taxes, fun stuff like that. Um, you do have to pay taxes. Uh, going through that struggle right now, I really don't want to file them. I have it all set up, but I haven't went to my self-employment stuff yet. But also, you know, if you really want to take this seriously, um, I recommend definitely, you know, maybe Googling, you know, self-employment taxes, learning how to do that. Um, maybe try to find, you know, some ways to lower the cost of you paying back taxes. So just a tip right there to save you stress later down the road. Um, start saving your receipts. So now we're going to dive into tips and tricks since we kind of